my name is Catherine and I am eight years old. I'm going to show the children in the audience how to build a balsa wood bridge that can win an international contest. And I'm Sabrina. I'm going to teach the adults in the audience the physics behind the bridge. We, we hope you enjoy, enjoy the video. video. An arch bridge works by taking the load placed on top of it and pushing it out to the edge of a valley. This pushing action is called compression. Unfortunately, if there are no ones to push against, well, the bridge will fall. But no real bunnies were hurt in the filming of this scene. These bunnies were just stunt doubles. A suspension bridge works by pulling on either end of the valley that it's located on. There's only one compression member in this suspension bridge. That's the green pole in the middle. All the rest of the members are tension members. That would include the white string that's holding all the little poles and the little poles that are holding up all the little babies. If there are no ones to pull against, then the bridge will fail. Because we do not want to injure the babies, we are gently going to lower them to the surface by easing the tension on one end. Dr. Bear is on hand in case there is an accident. The last type of bridge we showed you works like a swing. This type of bridge works like a te two teeter-totters, this one and this one. It takes the weight placed on top of it, which is Mr. Bunny, and even that out with weights placed on each end, which are the kitties. This type of bridge is called a cantilever bridge. Now I'll show you a model. This is a model of a cantilever bridge. Mr. Bear here is the weight in the middle. The Tinker Toys are the weights on the end. And the green poles and the strings are the teeter-totters. But these teeter-totters have tension and compression components. The tension components are the strings because they're holding the bear up from the top. The compression components are the green poles because they're holding the bear up from the bottom. The interesting thing about a, about a cantilever bridge is that if there's no weight on the end, the bridge will fall. <laughs> Beam bridge is easily the oldest type of bridge around. It's simply a piece of wood that goes from one side of a valley to another. On our beam bridge, which is on our tester, you can see we have placed a pressure plate, a five pound weight, and a family of animals. The pressure plate and the five pound weight is causing the bridge to sag. When the bridge sags, the pressure plate only touches the bridge in two places, here and here. Unfortunately, the beam bridge uses wood inefficiently. A truss bridge can hold much more load with less wood. I'll show you that type of bridge next. The last type of bridge I'm going to show you is called a truss bridge. This is the simplest type of truss bridge. It's called a king post bridge. A king post bridge, much like a cantilever bridge, has tension and compression members, but in a slightly different arrangement. The, t the two green poles are in compression because when you put weight on the king post bridge, they may buckle. The bottom two red members are under tension because when you put weight on the king post bridge, they may tear. The nice thing about a king post bridge is that you can just keep adding the simple design over and over again, making the bridge any length you want. But we're not going to build a king post bridge. In fact, we're going to build a queen post bridge. We started out with a truss bridge that looked much like this, but we realized that the trusses weighed too much, so we took them out and ended up with a queen post bridge. Here is the type of truss bridge we're going to build. It's called a queen post bridge. It has many different parts. This is the bottom cord and this is the bottom gusset. They're both under tension like in a suspension bridge. The function of the bottom gusset is to hold the, together all the bottom joints. Then there's the top cord and the top gusset. The top cord and the top gusset are on compression, but so are the, these end posts here, and they're all, all under compression like an arch bridge. These are the vertical hips. They, are, they have no pressure on, under them at all. They just keep the bridge stiff. 